I have two clarifications from you, Sadhguru. First thing is, India, from time immemorial, has been producing a lot of philosophers, you know, social reformers like you. Really? Then, how can I say, how can I evaluate you that you don't belong to Ram Rahim category? That's first question. <laughs> And my second question is... My second question is... Let me finish one, eh? Pardon? Let me finish one question. Pardon, sir? Let me finish one question. Okay. You, you don't like the answer, just the question? <laughs> because after that, I may not get chance. <laughs> but like this Ram, Ram Rahim, Rahim thing will finish it. <laughs> okay, then wait. So, uh, you said uh, India has produced many s philosophers and social repo reformers from time immemorial. I think you got it completely wrong on that note because India never produced social reformers or philosophers. Philosophy is one thing we always shunned. This is a land that always focused on nurturing human consciousness. This is why we look like such a big chaos, but still we manage. The entire world wonders, how the hell does India function? Yes, we are like a swarm of bees, we are going all over the place, but still going in one direction. Because in this land, nobody could ever give us a moral code. Even when so-called divine entities came, all they got was a debate. Yes or no? When Shiva came, his wife Parvati asked a thousand questions. Entire Shiva Sutra is full of questions and questions and questions. He can't give a commandment and say, this is it. He has to explain. This is not a philosophy, this is a seeking. This has been always a land of seekers. When Krishna came, Arjuna, his dearest friend, how many questions? Endless amount of questions. Nobody could ever give a commandment or a moral code in this country because here we believed the best thing is to stir up your humanity, not your morality. By fixing a moral code, today it looks like everything is in order, but tomorrow people will find a way to subvert the moral code and do their own thing anyway. The best way to bring about a certain order in the society is to stir up one's humanity. But if you give a moral code, it's a one day's job, you can carve it on the rock and say, this is it forever. But if you want to stir up humanity, you can't do it to a crowd, you have to do one at a time, one at a time. It's a lifelong commitment to people around you. About… I don't know what you know about that… Uh, I don't know what to say about him. <coughs> but at the same time, I want to tell you this. This country has produced the most phenomenal sages. Sages with incisiveness of mind and consciousness that if you come after ten thousand years, still it makes sense what they said many thousand years ago. You are not looking at them. Right now you have unfortunately come to a stage where your idea of a sage is Ram Rahim because you have a silly idea of secularism, he exploited it with Ram Rahim. Your idea of secularism is Am Amar Ak Akbar Antony. So he became Ram Rahim, I don't know why he's not Robert also, he did not add <laughs> So, see, this is what I said. Today, because a court has convicted him, everybody is standing up and saying, this is the most evil man. The first day I saw him on a news channel, the obscenity of the aesthetics itself, I said, why is even a national news channel showing this kind of thing? Obviously, if you pay money, this whatever God business, what is the movie on? What? He made one movie, no? 
No, no, he made a movie, right? Ram Rahim made a movie. What is that? Ah. When he made this movie, then only you should have known the moment you saw the man. Now because the court has convicted, all of you are doing this. I said it the first day, this is a joke being played upon our society. You must stand up and say something. But no, all the news channels, all the intellectuals, everybody clapped their hand because they liked the garish nature of what he's doing. But today because a court is convicted, they are saying this, this must go because first of all, this is the thing. When the court was to give a judgment, their people went about creating arson around the court. Why are they doing this? Because they believe and many times unfortunately it's worked this way, that they can force the hand of law with violence or some force on the street. That's the reason why they're doing it. Similarly, many news channels are also believing by creating a certain force of opinion, they can force the hand of law. This must stop. If we want to become a law-abiding nation, our opinion should not be bigger than the law. Law should be the ultimate thing. So here, one thing is law, which is between you and me, because the law is about how all of us can fun function together in the society. But another thing is how I am within myself. How I am within myself must happen by evoking my humanity, not by fixing morality on me. But if you want to evoke humanity, we need many people who are dedicated to that. I think it was very beautifully put when Adi Shankara spoke about it. He said, every one of you have tasted a mango, but all of you have not planted a mango tree. Because ten people planted mango trees, thousand people are eating mangoes, the sweetness of mango they know. So these people, those ten people for every thousand were there in the past, unfortunately they're missing. So here we are at a, a kind of a flux in the society right now, where we have no morality and where we have nobody to stir up our consciousness, not enough at least. So you're facing the kind of dilemma you're facing, all kinds of people are cropping up and filling that space. Just because you found one Ram Rahim, don't try to paint the entire clan black because they don't belong to the same clan, you must understand. Every sage, every seer, every yogi who came, he came absolutely as an individual. Maybe he was spawned by a certain tradition, but when he stood up, he stood up on his own, didn't, on his own clarity of perception. Those scholars who quote scriptures and other things are different, but every yogi, every mystic, every sage and seer who came always stood on their own clarity and people who saw the clarity went to them, those who did not, did not go to them. How Ram Rahim things become popular, it is like a cinema thing, okay? It's like somebody becomes a star simply because of some commercial movie or whatever they do and the same thing ha is unfortunately happening in this sphere of life also because people are so starved out, there is no sense anywhere. They're trying to make sense out of something because we don't have a moral code, because we don't have one book to follow and it's a great thing we don't have one book to follow or fight for. But at the same time, there is a big chasm in the country, there's no morality and there is no consciousness. If consciousness had to be stirred up, there is lot of work to do. If moral code has to be given, it's very easy. Ten things we can write down and say, this is it. Anyway, nobody will follow it. Outside they will pretend, within themselves they do what they have to do. So, today it happens unfortunately, I'm walking on the street, Indian people, Chennai people, they will say, show to their children and say, see Santa Claus, <laughs> okay? What's happened to your brains? You did not say, see Agastyamuni, you did not say, see what he looks like Vashishta, you did not say he looks like this yogi or that yogi, you say Santa Claus because the British left seventy years ago, but your brains went with them. It's time you retrieve that. <laughs> Thank you.
one more clarification sir i am no, proud to say that iit madras is the uh, only organization iit is in, the, in our country which is offering uh, spirituality in management you know i'm really proud of it you know proud of this iit and uh, when the gentleman asked you a question that how to build up the courage uh, i expected a straight forward answer from you but oh. he gave something different you know uh, that is courage if you the work in tune with nature will automatically get courage that type of answer spiritual answer i expected but you gave something different can you explain please <laughs> if i do only what you expect why would i be needed here <laughs> and uh, tell me right now daytime i'm asking the girls daytime you're walking either in the campus or in the chennai streets where you can see everything clearly there is clarity in your vision do you need courage no no night 1 o'clock in the morning you're walking back to the campus it's dark now you need courage why because there is no clarity that's all 